unsolicited but all the more valuable for it. This was tea. Yes. Take a moment to have heard this OST specifically. Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. <laughs> Our Zmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. <laughs> Fitting. But where are those who share the memory? Quite fitting, indeed. Jean Lee. Hey, Moyon. Greetings, guests from afar. If you're looking for Chowan Village, just keep walking north, north on this road. Alright. Uh, you are? I'm Moyon, the village accountant. I sometimes also help the others with odd jobs here and there. Our merchants often pass through here, and I ask after their businesses every day. I also visit every family in the village every month, so I have a good idea of how you we're doing financially. That's great. Uh, sounds really tough though. Thank you for asking. My job's not that difficult, especially when compared to taking care of tea trees. Uh, tea trees, yes, drying tea and stirring them up in a hot pan. After all, tea is our most important commodity. The tea farmers get up while it's still dark and work year-round to make sure that people everywhere get to enjoy it at a fair price. I've never heard them complaining about their work either. They love tea, and they make the most out of their days. They must have rubbed off on me, I guess, because I'm pretty proactive myself. How are things lately? It's a long story. For some reason, the first harvest this year is yellower than usual and didn't fetch a good price. Most of the villagers live off of their money. Uh, who made, we made, wait. Most of the villagers live off of the money we made growing tea. So we need to figure out what happened as soon as possible. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a real disaster indeed. Um, about Shaowen Village. We are already within Shaowen Village. We are already within Shaowen Village's borders. Welcome to the home of Li Wei's most famous tea. Shaowen Village is not is not as bustling as Yilong Wharf. Yeah, this is another part that uh, was mentioned during the uh, version 4.4 special program. But a quieter more relaxed place has value in its own zone. If you like tea, please give our Sunglow tea and single origin Yo One tea a try. You'll love them. Goodbye. Please take care. Wow. Uh, 
this new region here. Ah, youngsters over here. Day-to-day <clears throat> -day job. Being called by so many people that we don't even have the time to wander around. Ah, <sighs> finally you're here. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, are you young master? Wait, wait. Oh, are you young master? Are you the son of the Feyun Chromis Guild's manager? Uh, no, that would be in show, but uh, uh, I miss friends, so uh, guess it's quite close. I am. Wait, wait. Uh, no, we are here to investigate. I am but a humble servant. The one beside me is, in fact, the real. We are here to investigate. Yeah. Oh my. So you aren't the Chromis Guild's young master? No. Nope. Ah, uh, my apologies. I was considering only your wondrously fashionable attire and your flying companion. Your conduct too was so unlike ours that I assume that you must have come from Leeway Harbor to discuss matters with us. No, that's not the case. Lou, I am surnamed, and all in the village call me Grandpa Lou. <sighs> Apologize, I must. Recent years have not been kind. I have not even... I have not even the tea to treat you to as guests. <sighs> the adept I will certainly not be satisfied. The adept I will certainly not be satisfied the tea ceremony this year. Huh? Uh, Grandpa Lou, the stuff right be right by you, on those tea leaves? Ah, <sighs> the quality is far too lacking. How could I possibly serve such things to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from the Fame Thomas Guild. For we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. They are our biggest customers, after all. The crux of the matter... The crux of the matter is that this batch of tea is simply unsatisfactory. Whether it be in terms of taste or quantity. This is an open secret among tea merchants. Old Luo, the village chief, has also decided that no tea may be sold until the quality problem is solved. I have heard tell that the young master of the Thomas Guild is exceptionally smart and skilled. If he has caught wind that this year's tea harvest was lacking in both quality and quantity, I thought he would come in person, or if not, send someone here. So here I wait. Well, uh, do you know that uh, Zincho is uh, Zincho, Zincho, yeah, is the unsung hero of Genshin Impact? So, uh, since we are his friend, then uh, you can, uh, you know, rely on us to help deal with this problem. It doesn't take too much effort. Anyway, the problem of the tea leaves. I believe it lies with the soil. A problem with the soil? Indeed. I've lived here my whole life, and worked with tea since I was but a wee lad. And I can notice problems that others may miss. As I see it, and may Adeptus Fujin bless, may Adeptus Fujin bless us, it must be an imbalance in our soil and water. Hmm. Adeptus Fujin? Oh, so you also heard the tale. That's quite rare. Even among locals, few remember. Many, many years ago, 
Xiaowen village was nothing but a barren hill. Terrifying demons dwelt there, and it was all thanks to Deptus Fuchin that the demons were defeated, and tea trees were planted, allowing our ancestors to come live here. But if it's really a problem to water and soil, then I don't know what we can do about it. Actually, that's exactly what we've been asked to come investigate. Who will say, yeah, I don't know what we can do about it either? Oh? So, does that mean you believe me, young master? Yes, I believe you. Is that so? Then that makes things easy. Come. I'll bring the tea leaf samples, and let's go have a talk with old Luo. Hmm. Something wrong, Red Palo? Young master and young lady, if it isn't too much trouble, could you pretend you are from the the Yun Crumbs Guild when we are meeting with old Luo? The village chief Luo is a good person, but how to put this? He puts more trust in machines, cultivation techniques, fertilizers, and things like that. I mentioned an imbalance in the soil and water before, and we parted on bad terms. But if it was a young master of the Fiyu and Kramas Guild... Uh, I guess I'll give it a try? Doesn't seem like a good plan to climb on. Aya. Aya? <laughs> Isn't that what Hotel says as well? Aya? Aya, don't worry. Even if he sees through it, it's nobody's idea but mine. None of the blame shall fall on you. Let's go. She used blessings of sunken jade. Go to this team, the team mating workshop okay so brent do you see what i see right now a new wildlife okay hello cat uh might i ask what you are doing on top of the roof Oh, you can't speak. Oh, that's a bit of a problem, isn't there? Okay then. Uh, see ya. their tea so your point the blossoming warmth of showering sunlight what a shot and in the daytime as well okay um uh, what is this anyway So this is a new gameplay tutorial, it seems. Let me see, what is this game here? Wrathful Simulatrum. Use the ductal energy, energy, sorry, granted by Fujin on such peculiar stone statues to launch orbs of water in the shape of golden carp in the direction of your choice. It may be a stone carving, but for some reason it looks rather annoyed. Curious. No need to fret. These huffy looking stone carvings will truly get matter to you regardless of your choices. Alright. Let's see uh, Samantha's wine No. Not yet. 
This again, I think. I think I done it wrong. Alright, so let's do this. some time, but then I got through it. Certainly worth the extra mile. Alright. So I want us done. Greetings, my guest. Our village is just a few more steps to the north if you follow this path. Distinguished guests? Wait, I just said. Okay. <clears throat> Distinguished guests? Every visitor is a guest, and we will do our best to host them. There's an extraordinary aura of elegance about you. Well, you don't say. You might bring us good fortune, I reckon, and that makes you an important guest indeed. You're right, you're right. Uh, what are you doing, anyways? Tradition dictates that those who are in good health must help their neighbors once they're done with their own work. Uncle Luo, the village elder, arranges our shifts. Several of us are in the south, and several more in the north, so we are always prepared. If anyone needs help, they only have to talk to us. So, how's the pay calculated? Nah, it's not. We're way too close to worry about formalities like that. After we helped them out, the neighbors treated us to dinner and we had a few drinks together. That counts as payment. Yeah. I even moved a bunch of clothes and books for a day in a couple of days ago, and he made some killer egg soup. Nice. If you have some time, you should go chat with him and let him tell you stories about Chen Yuville. Definitely. Lotus seed and bird egg soup. Nice. Uh, goodbye then. Farewell for now. Try and find me any time if you need help. Will do. Have you seen the Lord of Geo? I mean, uh, I'm here, so. Carps. So, in Chowan Village, they, they they hold reverence to uh, Fujin. Oh, a daddy. Uh, wait, wait, wait. How how to do this? Okay, come here. Yeah, come here. Come on. Oh, that's a good Dottie. Dottie. Why can't we pet them, Hoyoverse? We're 
We should only uh, look at them and uh, well, let, uh, let our frustration go in. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. Um, and those that come across Leo need to stay on. Guess I'll have to try a new prescription. Uh, you are? I'm the physician in this area. Try and find me anytime if you're feeling in the world. You're young and full of fire, and ironically, that makes you more susceptible, susceptible to illnesses in those mountains. Hiddenness? Hiddenness is the root of all evil inside the body, and young people are especially prone to it, though for their bodies are easily excited. Okay. Uh, I have a few herbs to help help quench the flames and then the heat. Most effective when taken with herbal tea. Please help yourselves. Yeah, I know, Dodgy. I cannot pet you for some reason, so... I'm not the one at fault here. Uh, why are you trying new prescriptions? There are no panaceas, or so a good physician must find the right medicine to treat each patient's symptoms. If the illness is complex, then we'll have to dig deep to find the ultimate prescription. Have you talked to Baizu, Dr. Baizu, you know, and Chan Chan, and, you know, and Chi Chi as well? Maybe you could hold a conference. Well, all that assumes the physician has seen enough to be familiar with lots of different medicines, of course. Yeah, that's true. To master the effects of different prescriptions, I have to keep trying and learn from my mistakes. Okay. But, uh, oh, it's Shisen. Shisen. So, uh, I guess it says goodbye then. Work out regularly and keep a balanced diet. Will do, doctor, uh, physician. Thank you for your time. This OST, though, this music. I can listen to it all day, to be sure. Uh, but yeah, uh. Oh, hello, uh. What is. How do you spell that name? Uh. Shangju? Shangju, I think? I don't think I've seen you before. Did you come from Yilin Wharf? Do you know how to make jadeware? Uh, well, I uh, really don't. Oh, what a pity. That's the most interesting thing in the world. <sighs> if only I could reel some in wild fishing. Why would you even think that? If I could fish up some jade while fishing, then I could play with Moli every day. Even though fishing is fun, Making jadeware is more interesting still. But if I don't put in put in the effort and practice fishing as my family wants, my parents' techniques will be lost forever. So you have to take on the legacy, it seems. Uh, Xiangji. If only little Mao was willing to learn how to fish. Yeah, I suppose so. Alright. Uh... Something seems like you're worried about something though. Fewer and fewer people are fishing, or to be precise, far fewer youths are willing to engage in agriculture nowadays. Tea does bring a lot in a lot of money, of course, but you can't just bite and eat more. As far as I know, Shaolin villages brain drink production is barely self sufficient. But many of the crops must be purchased from outside. We are situated in this in the mountains, so if anything were to happen to the mountains path and stop the delivery of goods, now that'd be terrible news for us, wouldn't it? What's more, youngsters nowadays are all busy learning how to grow and prepare tea. Yeah, it worries me terribly. Fewer and fewer fishermen like me, youngsters are un unwilling to take up grain production. Want our local produce soon come pr won't our local produce soon come to lack variety? You only care about everyone, don't you? The people in our village are a good lot, and the tea that produces is precious. 
I can't stand to see great people and precious things suffer. A place to instability from the balance of its produce. I hope more youngsters will realize this. And stop focusing on just growing and selling tea. But consider the future of the entire, entire village. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to Uncle Luo about my suggestions some other day. Goodbye then. <sighs> what to do, what to do. Bosu. Okay. Bosu. Greetings, young man. Are you here to take the boat? Ride the bamboo raft to Willon Wharf. So you can use this trans transportation to go straight to Will Yellon Wharf. Okay. What are you reading of? It's a full it's a fault verse in Chinyville. Every fairman knows the words. This one is easy to understand. There's another, more elegant one. The spring's cries ripple through the veils. The shrines depart from the northeast shores. The heights and shallows in the southwest hide. I'll sing you this one when you take off the raft to Yilong Wharf. Okay. Uh, th this boat is quite unique. The taste. Shinyu Vale is shallow and has a lot of. Shinyu Vale is shallow, and has a lot of bends. So bit ships would get stranded here all too easy. But not a raft. It's light and sits high in the water, so no bends on, or unseen reef can stop us. More importantly, the scenery of Shinyu Vale can only be appreciated in detail from a raft. Okay. Uh, sorry for bothering you then. To buy a safe journey. Notice. If you'd like to see the magnificent sights of Shinyu Vale by a raft, please wait here a moment. Yeah, abandoned challenge. Abandoned challenge, yes. Uh. Uh, Shushan. I have to think of a way to find some young people who will seriously learn the craft of masonry. Uh, you are? Mm hmm? Why, aren't you an intelligent looking youngster? I'm Shushan. The trustiest stone masons of Shinyu Vale have come from my family for generations now. Ever since the time of my ancestors. Many of the local stone buildings were built by my family. Even after retiring, I still haven't found an apprentice worthy of inheriting my skills. Right, okay. Um, craftsmanship? The craftsmanship of cutting and transporting stones. The techniques required to carve on stone surfaces. These are only some of the many things the stonemason needs to learn to perfect their craft. There's not only jade to be found around here. All manner of high quality stone lie in this vale. The best materials for building roads and houses. I'm not the only stonemason around these parts, but I'm sure everyone will want their family craft passed down from generation to generation. Do you continue shining brightly? Am I wrong? No, you're not. Young people, you say? You need skill and stamina to work with stone. Your body won't be able to cope unless you start training from a young age. But some youngsters are too eager for success, success and end up taking the wrong path. After learning some fancy skills from elsewhere, they job and polish pure white stones to make mementos, which then they sell to outsiders. Such things are nice to keep as a souvenir, if reasonably priced, but they are not worth it at all if they are too expensive. After all, ordinary stone is not equal to jade. 
and should be used to build ordinary houses, roads, and bridges. It sure, it sure shall, yes. Um, is that some, any, is there anything of note nearby? Hmm, the sights are lovely around here. Did it all in slowly, if you're interested. Yes, I will. But it, uh, I'll say goodbye to you first because I'm quite polite. Take care. Thanks. Let's, let me let me look at the map for for quick. Only at eight percent. All right. Oh, there's a chest here. And a waypoint. go back because it seems like I've taken quite a huge detour so I have to take the scenic route <laughs> even the dodge has a name now <sighs> researcher from Samura Another man's gem. Yeah, you can also see people here actively taking all the tea leaves that are at this scene that they actually think are great enough or good enough for, well, merchandise or for consumption. Someone's idol musings. Pelicans perched be, uh, beside the, the pyre, contemplating the anglers of Shaolin. for something came from here so three strong martial artists are hidden amongst the uh, Hanshuan the Anshan tea house hired muscle how dare grade seven nobody speak and act so arrogantly Grade 7 pawn? Martial artists are divided into 9 grades. 1's the highest, 9's the lowest. Now, I was escorting someone from Yanshan Tea House to Shaolin Village. 
two days ago when I ran into this uh, mouthy pest why those clowns are so far of acting out and just who is doing the ranking me of course I've seen many martial artists in my time so I've got confidence in my judgment let me put it this way there is an excellent martial artist named Huan Chuan Huan Shan yeah an excellent martial artist named Huan Shan, who can be found in the trade routes linking Li Wei and Mondstadt. She's barely a grade 3. Sun Yu, a Gu Hua disciple, wields a swift and sharp word, sword. <laughs> sharp word. Sharp sword. And he'd be a grade 2. But while the grade 1, then, has to be an absolute master. In my opinion, Branch Master Lon of the Adventurous Guild would count. Um, if I might inquire, what grade are you? As for me, my skill is still lacking. You can consider me a grade 3. Okay. Uh, can I? Okay, so you like flexing, it seems. Um,. Uh, what grade are you? What grade is Yalon? Huh? How did you know of Bas's name? Well, as far as I know, she's gentle, refined, and capable of resolving problems with just a few words. I've never, I've never seen her fight anyone. Uh, can you really rate those who never fight? Would they even reach grade 9? Hmm. I don't know. Yolan, when she fights... What grade am I? If I'm being honest, I've never heard of you. But based on your bright glaze and long breaths, you must be a grade 2 at least. At a bare minimum, I'm the highest grade. You really don't hold back, huh? I'd hope to see a few of your moves one day, should fate permit. Well, you wouldn't want any of that. <laughs> Goodbye, then. Farewell. Now, Joe, I tell you. Xian Yun. Yanshan Tea House, tea house Devalued. These year's tea leaves are yellowed. I hope it won't affect the taste. And, uh, you are? Hello, I'm Chan Yun, and I'm in charge of purchasing tea leaves for Yanshan Tea House. About Yanshan Tea House's situation. Thanks for your concern. Tea House has really brightened up after the boss took over and kicked the Fatuian gamblers out. Now, Yanshan Tea House is worthy of the title Best Tea House in Liwei Harbor. If you're looking for a place to rest there, do pay us a visit. <sighs> About tea leaves. Tea has four charms. Color, infused leaves, aroma, and texture. Everyone has their preferences. If it's them you're looking to purchase, then consider trying to boss Yip's place. These teas have a strong aroma and taste that have captured the hearts of countless enthusiasts. Superb choices indeed. Uh -huh. Well, goodbye then. I hope to see you next time. Um, I don't know about that, but one can hope. So you wanted to, 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 to fight me? Alright then. Now you shall perish. I'm 
sorry for uh, oh we don't never mind I was trying to say I'm sorry for uh, the Jean Lee stone pillar <laughs> up there but yeah it doesn't matter it to be destroyed in a way Anything you like? Ba? Enchanta. Tail fruit sour, giant tail fruit sour. Deserved, deserved. Um, I think you guys have an issue, but I will let you be because uh, I don't want to get involved with this. Still, I mean, yeah, I didn't. I haven't even scratched the surface of this region yet, so yeah, it'll take time. But I think what I'll do as well is that I'm going to, um, I'm going to take time off stream in order to. get as many things done as possible so that um, I may have uh, you I mean yeah you may have the best uh, experience with the game you got what's up Chest. Nice. I wonder who this gift could be from. I wonder that too. Not only do you have any piece of, piece of info regarding uh, Shaolin Village, it is here that you get the finest tea leaves. And they are the radiant fragrance as usual. Nice. Uh, do you know about do you know about her? Only? Hmm. I don't know. I've lived my share of, uh, my fair share of life, so um. Yeah. Anyway, Nizo. <clears throat> to think that there were so many other preparation techniques for tea leaves apart from steaming. Tea ceremony observed as as it already <laughs> observed. At its origin, profundity, such profundity. Uh, the land of origin? 
are you interested in tea preparation too? Then allow me to briefly expound on my understanding. Well, expand on my understanding. They say that Inazum and tea leave. They say that Inazum and tea and tea ceremonies originate from Liwei. And so Liwei is considered the, orig the origin of such practices. Today, however, Inazum and Liwei tea ceremonies have completed, completely diverged. Yeah. In Shaowen village, in Shaowen village, this novel roasted tea exudes a vibrant aroma. I think it can be considered the, the harmony of tea ceremonies. The blend of the same tea leaves with the tastes of new places eventually causes it to evolve into new forms. Good point. You're too kind. I'm merely expressing my feelings as one who adores tea ceremonies. Uh, tea, possess tea possesses an essence that cannot be changed. Hmm. Well, you're right. No matter how the ceremonies change, the feelings of the people who drink tea are always the same. These are what you mean by the things that never change, yes? Ah, who knew tea encompassed such vast, vast knowledge? I've learned so much. Goodbye. See you. Let's have another discussion next time. Oh well, yeah, um... Let me go back first. change the night of day, the time of day night of day the time of day in order to make it more like this I think oh he's back yeah so early in the morning hey Shikun once tonight's shift is over I should be able to get in a few drinks of my brothers uh, you even do night shifts? Hey, some tea farmers start toiling away at 3 or 4 in the morning. A helping hand is always welcome in that pitch darkness. Someone like me, who isn't busy with, but has plenty of energy to spare, is the perfect candidate for that sort of night shift. Call me and I'll be there. The wee hours are great for getting things done. It's so quiet and so you can work away without getting distracted. Alright. You've got lots of brothers then. Oh no, they're not actually my brothers. We're just a group of pals who work together regularly. I'm one of the younger ones, so I call them my big brothers. We often help our neighbors out, and in return they've dubbed us the Six Little Dragons of Chowan Village. Nice! I'm the fourth oldest, so that makes me the fourth dragon. <laughs> These past two years, Fifth and Sixth have left to work as a bodyguard and boatman, respectively. Third found a job at Elon Wharf. So it's usually just the three of us, first, second, and little old fourth, drinking and chatting about our families. As fulfilling as the hard day's work is, a lazy day is not a bad day, a bad day either. Yeah. Have fun then, I suppose. Thanks, you too. Huh. Don't worry. Uh, if only there was a function that let, lets me pet you, I would. Trust me, but... Yeah, I can't. Sorry. It would be better not to speak at all. Okay. There's a saying, no matter how many things rise and fall in this world, that here spring will always flow alone. Scholars should stay true to their hearts and tell elegant stories. If they only speak of mundane affairs, they might as well say nothing. 
You are? I lack such talent, for I, for I only channeled as a jade artisan and half a poet. But in the past, I would also occasionally tell stories of the Yilong War of Tea House. A jade worker? Ah, when I was young, I was one of the best jade artisans in Xinyuvel. There's always an inscrutable connection between beautiful jade and fascinating stories. As such, I would tell my neighbors stories I had heard while carving jade, which made me somewhat famous in the area. Nowadays, I occasionally give my disciple some of my jade works to sell on my behalf. If you go to Yilong Wharf, you can visit my disciple's store. Maybe you'll come away with jade wear a piece that tickles your fancy. I see. Um, but I think you have another dialogue option. Let me see. From before? Recently, a youth has been coming to the tea house, doing up the most humdrum happenings in the streets, thinking to please the public. A joke about a Fentinian who made a fool of themselves while drinking tea here. A story about a monster who was knocked out after drinking three bowls of a local spirit there. While it's true that outsiders don't understand our traditions and do many outlandish things, it's better to only discuss such things over a cup of tea or after meals. On the stage, it's better to speak of more elegant affairs. As long as tempers have cooled off and everyone's feeling happier, I'm not angry at all. I just feel like it's a shame. Yellow Wharf's a real riot compared to Shaowen Village, so I get my tr white travelers re restlessly spoiled for some fun while passing through. However, at the end of the day, Chinyu Vale has Adeptus Fuchin and our thousands of ancestors who endured great hardships to lay foundations down for us so that there might be endless stories worth telling. As such, a mixture of mundane matters and elegant tales of the past should be told on stage. I wonder when that you will understand. One day, Lillian, one day they will understand, sure enough. Don't you worry about that. Let's go there. But thank you, thank you for your time, Dean. Thank you. Uh, Molly? Oh, so you are Molly. Okay. Hello there, tall guest. Do you know how to fish? Yes. Yes, I do know how to fish. But I haven't fished much these days. Then let's go fishing together. Fishing is one of the most interesting things in the world. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, th to those who have caught 2,000 fish, you have my you have my most respect. Hello there, tall guest. Do you know how to fish? Yes, I do. I'm a master baiter. Really? In that case, do you um, think it's possible to fish up jadeware? Why would you even think that? I love fishing, especially when it's with Xiangju. But father, father says that someone must take over our family's jade business. So it would be perfect if I could fish up some jadeware. Don't you think so too? Or maybe I'll ask little Mao to learn how to make jadeware while I go fishing with Xiangju. That'd be great too. Definitely, definitely. But um, do you want to say goodbye to me though? Yeah, see you. Bye. I'm going to continue thinking about fishing. You do, you do, you girl, you do you. I go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 
Only you stay there, okay? I know that your brother is on the other side, but think about him for a second. Shinyu Adepti. Okay, let's get all that. These, these, um, these creatures here have a lot of, uh, well, strength and stamina as well. And they disappear too quickly, so I cannot catch them. Which is a bit of a shame, to be honest, but let's see. Shine down. Everyone hold hands. Yeah, I cannot get them. Um, all right. Pin crystal. Nice. A hundred and twenty-four. Okay. Um down me, Leon. Hello there. Um I'm sorry, but boss Yip isn't it isn't in, so you'll have to wait if you're here to buy some tea. Um so you are? Just tell just call me Leon. I'm the assistant here. And I usually do things like preparing tea and doing accounts. Oh, and you can let me know if you want to place an order. I promise to keep those fine teas for you. <laughs> About tea. You've come to the right person. The boss's wife and I share the same hometown. And we came here, one after the other, many years ago. I've had all sorts of fine teas. Chowan Village's Sunglow tea has a fresh and clean aroma, and single origin Yowan tea's refreshing but swift aftertaste. Both of them are exquisite and fine. You can't go wrong with either. However, if you're looking to buy some other gifts, you should not buy bar ship in advance. Why? The tea leaves in our village are picked and sold collectively, and the profits are distributed later on per our contracts. All the bosses have signed an agreement with the village. Uh -huh. Right now, the best part of the best ba the best part of the best batch of tea should have been sold out a long time ago. The ordinary tea farmers are only left with some surplus for private consumption now. That stuff's not bad, but I wouldn't call it fit for a gift. Alright. See you. Alright, come again. Um. <laughs> I wonder what these spirit traps all for. I'm quite sure that we will have to go there in order to to continue the quest. Alright.